Hi, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be culturing fruit flies. You're going to need everything you see right here, including fruit fly food, a can of myosin solution, and some yeast. The first thing we're going to need to do is have some existing fruit flies to start from. You can see my culture running right now is pretty dirty, got a lot of waste on the sides, a lot of chrysalis that are old, and it's just ready to be a new culture. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remake the same tube in a couple of fresh ones. The first thing we're going to need to do is label a tube. So grab a sharpie and we're going to add the date and the kind of fruit flies that are being recultured. So these are all wild type. The next step is we're going to add some food. Now the type of vial that you're using is probably going to vary. Just as long as you keep the ratios of each of these three ingredients the same, you should be fine. For my vials, I'm going to use one scoop of fruit fly food. Now this is Carolina Blue formula, but it's certainly not the only food available out there. So just one scoop. going in and leave it to settle. The next step will be to add some of our canamycin solution. Now here I've got a stock canamycin solution that I have mixed that is 10 milligrams per milliliter and that is 100x. So that is 100 times stronger than it needs to be. I'd recommend if you're making it from powder keeping a stock solution like this that you can mix from whenever you're ready to actually make some fresh culture. So here I've got a larger container that I have diluted down to 0.1 milligrams per milliliter and that is the functional concentration of this particular antibiotic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 11.7 milliliters of our canamycin solution into this vial with the dry food. So the lid comes off. Eleven point seven. There we go. And back into the sleeve, disconnect the pump. And you can see right now there's more liquid in there than there was dry food, but that dry food is going to expand here in the next few moments and absorb that liquid until eventually we'll have a nice squishy food mixture with no standing liquid. It's very important you don't want any standing liquid at all by the time you're ready to add flies. So you can see even now it's starting to really absorb a lot of that liquid. And now the last step, we need to add a few grains of yeast. That's a few specks, grains or pieces of dust. They're going to be going into this tube. The yeast is important for the fruit flies nutrition. And so this is a step we cannot skip but we need to add just a tiny, tiny amount of yeast. So what I'm doing is I'm going to tap out a few grains onto this note card. And then I can watch very closely as I tap the note card. I'm going to count the number of grains of yeast that go into this vial. And you want between three and five. So there it goes. One, two, three, and let's do four just to be safe. There it goes four. And that's all my yeast back in here to be kept until next time. So you'll go through yeast very, very slowly. This is just basic bread yeast you can buy it at any grocery store. Now this vial is ready to have flies added to it. So I'll stick the lid on here and put it off to the side until I'm ready to go ahead and move old flies into a new culture. Whenever you're ready to move, you can use any number of techniques. My favorite, which minimizes the number of flies that get loose into the classroom, is to take the lid off here and you want to just tap it against the bottom. That will knock all of your flies down off of the top. And then line them up just like that. The fruit flies will naturally want to run from lower to higher. 
and so you can wash them as they all run up the, into the new tube. This will also keep all the dead flies and waste out of your new tubes. And just like that, they didn't realize that I had taken the top off of the bottom because they're so focused on moving up. So I can quickly get the lid back on the bottom container. And now I've secured the lid on the top and now I have a brand new culture of fruit flies off and running. That's the basic procedure. Good luck taking care of your flies.